Hey, I'm Bo. If you clicked on this video expecting an intricate, detailed, lots of tool requiring build, you clicked on the wrong video. This is just a simple video about how I built a lamp. The only power tool that is absolutely essential is a drill. Now throughout the video, I will use other power tools, but you can get around that. If you go to your lumber yard and you ask them to make some cuts for you, they'll do it. Simple. Look for a piece of timber that's relatively thick. Mine ended up being about 80 mils by 80 mils. I don't know what that is in Imperial. I'll put it on the screen. And then ask them to cut them into roughly 100 mil sections. I, I, I don't know what that is in Imperial either. Ding. Now, let's get into the build. I, I, I actually did forget something, sorry. I'll leave links for all the products I used in the description. So if you need them, look there. Let's go, sorry, 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 sorry. And bang, just like that, we're into the build. Now we're making the lamp base here. Like I said earlier, you can completely avoid the steps I'm about to do by buying thicker timber from your lumber yard and asking them to cut it down for you. Oh yeah, the timber I'm using is, um, is some beautiful black butt. Yeah, <laughs> black butt, pretty funny, hey? Gotcha. But yeah, no, that's, that's what it's called, black butt. It's recycled hardwood and it looks pretty good. All I'm gonna do is use a heap of glue and clamps to join the two boards together. Oh! Your boy's got mad hands. Whoa! So I could wipe up all the um, excess glue that's dripping off or I could just leave it for another time when it's more of a hassle. I'll probably just do that. I let the glue dry up overnight and we were ready to go. And that's it. That's how you build a lamp. No, not really. Let's do it. There's actually not that much more I need to do to it. It's, it's a bit underwhelming. I'm just going to rip it so it's more of a uniform shape. I needed to do was cut it to its final dimensions using my crosscut sled. My table saw blade was just a little bit too small to make it the whole way through the cut, so I had to use a stop block on my crosscut sled and then flip the timber over. Alright, so I just cut my big rectangular timber piece. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. There's a few nail holes that need to be filled. And to do that, I'm just gonna use some... What am I gonna use? I'm just gonna use black timber filler. Just like that. Filler's all dried up. What I'm gonna do now is just put a little bit of a profile on there so it's not pointy like this, and it's round. Because why not? If you're working with limited tools and you wanted to, you could completely just skip this step. Yeah, just don't do it. That's how you get around it. I always get so nervous when I'm gonna use my router table. I feel like if I'm ever gonna lose my finger, it will be on this machine. Uh, it's scary. If you wanted to, you could probably get away with using a palm router for this, or you could use some sandpaper to give it a slight round over. Can't really tell because of my dodgy camera work here, but I make a bit of a mistake. Hmm. Everything was going so well. Um, yeah, you might have just seen, but I just took two bigger pass with that router bit. And got some big old chunks taken out of this guy. Oh boy, not easy to fix. Probably better off to just chop it off, I think. Damn it. Dum, dum, dum. I was thinking that that was too big a pass, but I was like, stuff it, it's worked so far. <sighs> Routing done. I'm pretty happy with the rough shape. I think it's gonna look pretty cool at the end. Make sure you stick around to see how cool it looks. 
gonna give them a sand now to make them look less crap. Okay, let's go. If you don't have a random orbit sander, you can just use sandpaper. Once the sanding was done, I was pretty happy with the rough shape and I was ready for the installation of the lighting. What I have here is my little cheat for this build. Um, it is a little lamp kit, I guess, that I got off the internet, if you've heard of it. It's probably cheating, but there's no other way that I could figure out how to make a lamp without like becoming an electrician or a lamp maker. Is that a thing? Don't know. The way it works, this is the light bit. This is the bit that's gonna stick into the timber, I guess. Well, actually this bit here is going into the timber. It's like a little, I don't know, what do you call that? It's a little cylinder. I'm gonna drill a hole in the timber for this piece to go in. And then this guy, you just stick straight in like that and it should stay in there. And then, I don't know, it's got the rest of the other bits here as well. It's a turny on -y bit switch. Yeah, that's what it's called. And the pluggy bit. Pretty simple. So I've got to drill a hole for this guy in the middle. Let's do that. So I've marked center. I'm gonna punch a hole with my hole punch to make sure the drill bit doesn't wander. Ah, it looks about right. And I'm using a 15 millimeter Forstner bit to drill the hole. I also have to drill a hole for this part of the light here. That will go inside the hole I've already drilled. We'll see. Well, build's done pretty much, but don't go anywhere because I'm gonna put a coat of paint on this, coat of finish on this, and then there's gonna be a massive reveal and you're gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe it looks so good. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Um, yeah, so don't go anywhere, bye. And just like that, the build is done. So pretty. Oh, wow, look at that. Can't believe it, oh, lamps. Now, it, it definitely wasn't the most revolutionary build of all time. It's essentially just a block of wood with a hole in it. Yeah, it is. Hopefully you enjoyed the build um, and got something out of it. And maybe you're even gonna give this project a go yourself. That would make me feel good. And I think it would make you feel good. I know it's very simple. But simple's good if it's gonna get you to do something. Maybe you'll make it. You'll have fun doing it. You feel a sense of achievement. Oh, I made that. Then you invite some friends over and they're looking around your apartment and they say, hey, where's that lamp from? And you're not gonna say like everyone else, oh, Ikea. You're gonna say, I made that. And you're gonna feel even better. So why not give it a go? Give the build a go, guys. Nothing to lose. You only need a drill. It's easier and more fun if you've got other tools, like a table saw, but it, it's still manageable. You can do it. Once again, links are in the description if you want to buy any of the products that I used in this build. If I could make one suggestion, it would be not to buy the same bulbs that I did because they're quite bright. Um, and when you just look at them, they're like, ah, oh, it's my eyes, ah, you know, ah, yeah, like that kind of. Oh, and one other tip, you could put a red light bulb in there and then you block out the blue light and you'll sleep better. Pro tip. But yeah, I think, I think we're done. Oh wait, there's one more thing I forgot. Um, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see any more of my videos, right here, I got a whole woodworking playlist. It's pretty fun. Get into it. And I'll see you next time. Oh, and made by both. Burped. Oh, that's going to make the cut. All right, bye. bye.